people love you. Have you ever had a time when you've been up on stage, not necessarily with this show, and the audience just, you didn't connect? Absolutely. That will happen. I mean, that's, I mean, I think you, you, you hope that as you get better at what you do, and I've been doing this now for 18 years uh, with stand-up and performance and that, that those evenings are less and less uh, frequent. Yes. And unfortunately, for the most part, they are. But they will, they just occur for whatever reason. And isn't that reason. awkward? It's Then awkward. what happens? Well, then you resort to technique. And, and the, right. the first thing you can do is you can't panic. You can't, right. for whatever reason, the twain are not meeting. They're not liking you. You're not liking them. It's also very easy to get caught up by one or two people. So suddenly you're going to have 400 people loving you and then two people giving you the death stare and then you oh just fixate gosh. on them. And that, and that you've got to... That's a skill to not do that, because I think most performers want to, we just go, oh, they hate us, they hate us, and then you find you're just playing to them, and yeah. you're bringing down the rest of the crowd. So, uh, but essentially what you do is you either speed up or, or slow down, because sometimes it's a language thing. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the best advice is get off the stage as soon as you can. You know, do the shows neatly and yeah. as tightly as you can. Get off the stage and put it behind you and, and move on to the next show. Have you, know you been, I mean? have you been heckled? Oh, but heckling's fun. Now, I enjoy the, a good old heckle. You don't uh, get heckled as often as you do, for example, in a comedy club. Right. In a theatre, right. people tend to understand They're the conventions cool. of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they understand. But every now and then, and, and I mean, in this show, it's interesting because sometimes uh, people might drink a bit at interval. And this doesn't happen <laughs> a lot, but a drunk man, for example, is easier to control than a drunk woman in, in an audience. <laughs> because a drunk man, if you do put a, give them a put down, the immediate man goes, oh, I've been an idiot, and then goes quiet. <laughs> A drunk lady takes that as a challenge and just keeps <laughs> going and keeps going and keeps going. So that can be tricky at, at times because, of course, you can't be too rude either. You know right, what I mean? So you're right, kind of right, balancing right. that line. But the best lesson I've learned over the years is then to make sure the audience is on your side. So if they're starting to disturb the audience and making it unpleasant, yeah. you get the audience to keep make them quiet. You, you, okay. Yeah, because then at least it feels like the audience is still with you. Yeah, cool. That happens literally one every... Two shows. No, one every 200 <laughs> shows. It's very infrequent.